Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions at the end of the last episode on triangles. Number one, which cannot be the sides of a triangle? So if you remember some of the triangle facts we went over, you know that two sides have to add up to be greater than the third side in order for those three numbers to be sides of a triangle. So first up, we have 2, 3, and 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. That's not greater than 5, obviously. So that means that this pair, or this triple, can't represent sides of a triangle. 3, 4, 5. 3 plus 4 is 7, which is greater than 5. 4 plus 5 is 9, which is greater than 3. And 3 plus 5 is 8, greater than 4, so this works. And last up, we have 15, 36, and 39. 15 plus 36 is 51, which is greater than 39. 36 and 39 add up to 75, which is greater than 15. And 15 and 39 add up to 54, which is greater than 36, so that works. So only 2, 3, 5 can't represent sides of a triangle. Number 2, what is x plus y? So in this case, we have 40 degrees and 80 degrees inside the triangle which means that we know the third angle has to be, this adds up to 120, so this has to be 60, because the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. If we know that, we know that x and 40 are a supplementary pair, because this is a straight line, which means that x is 140, and we know that y, since this is the same thing over here, has to add up to 120, because 60 and 120 add up to 180, so if we know that, we know that x plus y add up to 260. Number three, what is x? So in this case, we know this is a right triangle because there's a right angle here. And because of that, we know we can use the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we know that a and b are the legs. So we have 7 squared, which is 49 plus x squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is 100. That means that we can move 49 to this side by subtracting both sides by 49, and we get 51, and we know that x is square root of 51. So moving on to number 4, solve for a and b. So first off, we know that because this is 30 and this is a right angle, that the other angle has to be 60 degrees, and that we have a special right triangle here, 30, 60, 90 triangle. So because of that, we should know what A and B are, because we have one value here of 12 opposite the side of 60. So all we need to do is set up the proportions. We know that the side that should be 1 originally is A. We know that the side that should represent root 3 here is 12. So if we know that's the case, we can cross multiply. We get a root 3 is equal to 12. And we know that a is equal to 12 over root 3. All we need to do is multiply this by root 3 over root 3. And we get, if we move this up here, 12 root 3 over 3 which is equal to 4 root 3. So we know side A is 4 root 3. If we know that side A is 4 root 3, that means that side B, the hypotenuse, is just 2 times that. So it's 8 root 3. And number 5, solve for A and B again. Now in this time, we know that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, because again, the angles have to add up to 180. And if that's the case, we know that sides A and B are normally represented by 1, 1, and the hypotenuse being root 2. So if we know these proportions, we can just set up another ratio of 1 being side A is equal to root 2 over 7. 1 and root 2 here, and A here. To 7. So again, like in number 4, all we need to do is cross multiply. So we get a root 2 is equal to 7. a is equal to 7 over root 2. Multiply the top and bottom by root 2 over root 2 to get rid of the root in the denominator. And moving up here, we get 
7 root 2 over 2. All right, so that's it for this episode. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below, and if you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe.